Mittens Makers here with Muse Paint Bar to teach you how to create this very cute mittens painting. It is getting cold outside and we must protect those lovely artist hands. So I am working with these four colors today. I have a fiery red, which when you add white to it, it turns into like a salmon-y pink color. I have a phthalo green, which when added with white, turns into a minty green. Um, if you don't have that and you have like more of like a grassy green or more of a bright red, maybe get some blue and yellow paint to mix into those. I also have some black and some white paint. I'm working on an 8x10 canvas panel, landscape orientation. Of course, you can use any canvas that your heart desires. I have three brushes that I'm working with today. I have a large brush, I have a medium brush, and I have a small brush. I also have some paper towels to rinse and dry off my brushes once I clean them. All right, so first thing we're going to do is paint in our background. So I'm gonna get my large brush and a mixing plate, and I'm gonna be mixing up a nice big, big scoop of white and a little bit of my fire red. Now this is gonna be the light shade that's gonna be in the center of our canvas. So I'm just going to really sloppily throw this in here in the middle. Boom, done. Then I'm gonna take some more of my fire red, add it in, darken that color up. Then I'm gonna go around the edges. And then slowly work to blend it in towards the center using kind of rounded circular lines. Now our background is complete and we need to let it dry for about five to 10 minutes before we do anything else. While we wait, I'm gonna show you around our studio. Once your painting is dry, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our mittens. I'm gonna be taking my small brush and mixing together a big scoop of white and a tiny bit of that phthalo green. We wanna make something really, really pale. This will be the lightest color in our mittens. So first thing, we're gonna draw the shape of our mittens. I'm going to start with a rainbow shape that kind of curves in. And then you have the bottom part of the mitten that kind of bulges out. And then you have the thumb right there. We're going to split the parts of my mitten where the colors are gonna be. So I'm going to have this top part be really, really light. And same thing with this bottom section. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but opposite way over here. Next, I'm gonna be mixing up a slightly darker color. This is going to be the green that is in the middle of our mittens. This color is also going to create the mitten strands because they're stranded together. So first I'm actually gonna draw a heart here in the middle of the two. And then from the bottom part of the heart, these lines are going to go up and connect to the mittens. I'm 
I'm gonna let my mittens dry touch while we work on the snowflakes. So small brush, white paint. We're gonna create a variation of size of dots in our background. Got some larger ones. Got some medium dots. And the smallest ones, we're going to be using the back part of our handle on our brush. Next, we're going to mix up the darkest green. I'm going to grab a scoop of green, scoop of black, touch of white. I'm going to use this to paint in the thumbs. And we're also gonna use this color to put some stripes into the lighter parts of our mittens. Now the most intricate part of our painting is going to be the little snowflake that is inside of our mittens. With your small brush and white paint, we are gonna be drawing first a plus sign. Then we're gonna be painting an X. From there, we're gonna be drawing a triangle top in between each of those lines. A smaller one below it. Then we're going to be drawing two V's on the tips of each of these lines. You can feel free to extend those lines if you need to. And then we're going to add some dots to the ends of each of those lines. And a dot in between each section. Now we're just going to repeat those steps for other mitten. And there we go, we have created ourselves a very cute pair of mittens. Once you're done with your painting, make sure you sign it so someone takes credit for this beautiful painting. And we would love to see what you're painting at home. You can feel free to post videos, photos online, and don't forget to tag us at Muse Paint Bar so we can check them out. If you love this tutorial and would like to see more from our channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And of course, we'll see you again next time.